guys, so today I'm going to be covering the basics of what it is like to keep a cat as a pet. So let's start with what kind of owners cats are good pets for. Cats are great if you don't have a huge amount of time to devote to a pet. For example, if you don't have enough time for a dog but want a pet that's a little more commitment than say a hamster or a fish, then a cat can be a really good option for you because they don't require a great deal of maintenance. Cats make fantastic pets for both families and for people living alone. They make great companions and if you have young children, they're a really good pet for teaching the basics of responsibility and they're very easy for children to interact with. Cats adapt to new environments very easily and they don't need a huge amount of space. So for example, if you live in a small apartment and you don't have enough room for a dog, a cat might be better suited to you. On the other hand, if you live in a very large house with a lot of land around it, a cat is going to be just as happy. So it doesn't matter what kind of home you live in, a cat is probably going to fit in just fine. Cats also don't necessarily have to go outside. You can keep your cat indoors and have it as a house cat with absolutely no problems. The majority of cats will be perfectly fine living indoors, although there is a small minority that would prefer to be outside. And some cats do get a little frustrated when being kept indoors, so this is something you want to watch for. However, like I say, that's a minority. Most cats will be perfectly happy if you decide to keep them as a house cat. If keeping your cat indoors is going to be a necessity for you, then and I would suggest getting a cat that has previously been kept as a house cat. That way it's already used to that environment and you shouldn't get any problems. If you get your cat as a young kitten, then you shouldn't have any issues anyway, as they will quickly adapt to the new environment. So now let's talk about the actual care of the cat, the sort of things you'll be expected to do on a regular basis in order to keep your cat healthy and happy. I would never class cats as a high maintenance pet. They fall somewhere between low maintenance and medium maintenance. They're very easy to care for and require you to do very little for them to keep them happy. Kittens need to be fed around three to five small meals a day, but adult cats only need around two or three meals depending on your personal preference. Clean and fresh water should be provided daily for your cat to drink from, and you'll want to groom them at least once a week, although if you have a cat with long or thick fur, you'll want to groom them more often than this. The great thing about grooming is not only will it help to keep your cat clean, but it's a really good way of bonding with your cat and spending some one-to-one -one time with them. If you have young children, this is a task that would definitely be well suited to them, as it's great fun for kids to do and your cat will really enjoy it. You'll want to give your cat a health check at least once a week just to make sure everything is in order. Cats are very, very good at hiding illnesses and a lot of the time owners don't notice them for a long time. So health checks entail things such as checking the ears and eyes to make sure they are clean, clear and there's no gloop coming out of them, checking the teeth to make sure they all look healthy and that none have fallen out or gone missing. You'll also want to check your cat's furs for parasites such as fleas and ticks. Now the best places to look for these are in the bridge of the nose, behind the ears and under the armpits as well as this tends to be where they prefer to reside. So you want to check for those and you'll also want to give your cat a quick groom over with your hands just to check for any lumps, bumps or scratches that may need checking out by a vet. You don't need to bath your cat unless a vet tells you to do so for a medical reason. Most cats don't enjoy baths and it can be very stressful for them. However, if you do have a cat that does enjoy being bathed and it's something you want to do, you can do it, but I would suggest doing it no more than once a month as doing it too often can be very bad for their fur and for their skin and it can strip the oils from their fur and make them look more dirty. One final thing you'll want to do is to take about an hour out of your day to play with your cat. Now, you don't have to get loads of expensive cat toys because cats will play with pretty much anything. They'll play with paper bags, plastic drinking straws, shoelaces, hairbands, whatever. They love everything and they can make anything into a toy. So just take a short time out of your day to play with them, entertain them, get some of their energy out of them. This is especially important if you have a house cat and just spend that time with them. It's really good for bonding with them. And like I say, it will help to wear them out and help them to sleep better and remain healthy cats. So generally speaking, those are the sort of things you'll be expected to do to care for a cat. Now on a day-to-day -day basis, the only real things you'll be doing are feeding your cat, making sure they've got water, and spending a little bit of time playing with them. The rest of the time they'll just be sleeping, grooming themselves, or finding some way of entertaining themselves. So there isn't really a huge amount you need to do for them. Though cats are low maintenance pets, that does not mean that they are low commitment pets, and that is something that's important to keep in mind. 
The average lifespan of a cat really depends on who you ask, but it ranges between 15 to 20 years. Most say around 18 years is the average lifespan. So think to yourself, are you going to be able to dedicate 18 years to one animal? This question is especially important if you're quite young because a lot will happen in the first 25 years of your life and so you've got to really consider if you're ready to commit to an animal for so long. If you're still in school now, you've got to think to yourself, where am I going to be in 18 years? Am I going to have the time for a cat? Are you planning on going to college or university? Or perhaps are you planning on moving abroad when you're older? Maybe you're even planning on traveling. And if you are planning on doing any of these things, think about how a cat would fit into that situation. Are you still going to be able to care for them if those things happen in your future? Just to put it into a little more perspective, if you do decide to get a cat, you're potentially going to have that for a quarter of your life. One quarter of your entire life. So think that decision through very carefully. So if you're still not deterred, let's move on to talking about the medical side of keeping a cat. Now in some places it is the law to get your cat vaccinated for illnesses such as FIV. It's also the law in some places to get your cat microchipped and registered as your pet. Be sure to check your local laws when it comes to keeping cats before you decide to get one. Now you can usually find this information online but you should also be able to find it at your local pet rescue centres and at your local animal control centres. If your area doesn't have any laws on vaccinating cats, but it does still offer them to cat owners, then it's definitely a good idea to consider them, especially if your cat is going to be a free range cat that goes both indoors and outdoors. Of course, the most important medical procedure you want to get for your cat as soon as they are old enough is getting them spayed or neutered. Not only does spaying and neutering prevent them from breeding with other cats and therefore reduce the population of stray cats, which in turn reduces how many cats go into rescues and how many cats get put to sleep, so you're saving a lot of lives by getting your cat spayed or neutered, but it also improves your cat's own health. It prevents them from getting diseases such as testicular cancer and in females, cancer of the uterus and ovaries, but it also helps to reduce their smell, especially in males who like to spray around their territory and it helps to reduce their levels of stress. There used to be an old misconception that the idea of spaying or neutering an animal was somehow cruel because it prevented the animal from mating. Now, you still do hear some people say that, but thankfully most people have moved on from that, and we know these days that it's actually a lot kinder to spay or neuter your animal, and not such a good idea to leave them unspayed and unneutered. The reason for this is very simple. Unspayed and unneutered cats have a lot of hormones rushing around their bodies, telling them they need to mate and they need to mate now. The majority of pet cats are not able to release these hormones or urges as they would do in the wild, and so so that all gets stuffed up inside them, makes them more stressed, makes them more easily agitated, and just makes them more unhappy than if you were to simply get them spayed or neutered, take away those urges, and then they don't have to worry about them. They don't feel the urge to mate, they don't miss anything, a lot of people say that they would, they don't and they don't feel as stressed. And this is great for their health overall. It will prevent them from getting many stress-related illnesses and can in fact help them to live longer. As well as vaccinations, microchipping, and spaying or neutering, you'll also regularly want to get your cat a parasite treatment. Now you can usually buy these in your local pet shops or sometimes you can buy them in your local pharmacies depending on where in the world you live. And these are just simple treatments, usually in the form of drops or tablets that you give to your cat and it prevents them from getting common parasites such as fleas, ticks and worms. Most parasite treatments work for around a month to six weeks so do check the packaging and find out how long it's going to last and make sure you regularly top your cat up on these medications to prevent them from getting fleas, ticks and worms as all three of these parasites and the other parasites out there can cause them to become very very sick so it's best to let them avoid getting them in the first place. Of course during your cat's lifetime they are probably going to get sick at some point so if you ever notice your cat behaving strangely out of the ordinary or they seem to be unwell don't hesitate to get them to a vet pretty much every vet treats cats they're not an unusual animal they're not an exotic pet so you shouldn't have any difficulty finding a vet that will treat them if and when they get sick the final thing I can say on this topic before I lose my voice because I am starting to croak a little bit 
is that if after this video you still really want to get a cat, you've not been deterred, you don't think it's a bad idea in any way, then go for it. Obviously, do more research because there's still plenty more to learn and make sure you've got all their supplies before you get them. But if it's still something you really, really want to do, then definitely go ahead and do it because cats are amazing pets. They make a huge difference to your life. They are wonderful companions. They are just lovely to have around. And I will honestly say that cats are my favorite pet of all time. They always will be. They always have been since I was a child. I love, love cats. I couldn't imagine my life without one. So. If you want to get one, go ahead and do it. They're a great pet. I could never say a bad thing about them. They're wonderful. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. You can also share this video with your friends and you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to also check out the description box beneath this video for more links to other places that you can find me, including Twitter, Instagram, and even Pinterest. Yes, I am a big fan of pinning. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.